Speaking of relevant info, mm-hmm. yeah. No. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, was bad. I mean, I love that. that, before that could anyone, be a segue to everything. Anything, that's before the thing. anyone it's, disapproved, Ryan disapproved. Right, yeah, yeah, I'm transition. rejecting my own. <laughs> no, my it could own be. Transition. Speaking of relevant info, I had a sandwich for lunch. That, yeah, exactly. That's not relevant info. <laughs> Every, that's super relevant. <laughs> yeah. Uh, our old buddy Kudo Tsunoda, mm-hmm. who, if you go way back, so you, most of most of our viewers slash listeners may know kudo as the connect guy yep. mm-hmm. the sunglasses the uh yeah. yeah ever wonder what the bottom of a connect of an avatar shoe looks like bam there it is oh yeah <laughs> before that kudo <laughs> was and is a very successful game designer most notably on fight night round three yep. which is one of the best sports video games ever made i love that game and before his success as an internet meme <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah he was before actually he, successful before <laughs> he was reduced to meme status <laughs> he actually designed one of the finest video games uh, on the 360 but uh now and you know he's been working on sort of quietly he's been working on hololens mm-hmm. so he's doing stuff for that but this week Major Nelson put up a video that I thought was interesting, a little interview catch-up chat with Kudo that was clearly super staged. (laughs) But nevertheless, he has been, I'll call it promoted, and is now overseeing Lionhead, Rare, uh, uh, Press Play, and some other studios in addition to the HoloLens stuff. They've reshuffled a few other higher-level Microsoft Xbox folks around. Like who, I wonder? Or Ryan. Didn't someone else have this job? (laughs) Funny you should say that, (laughs) because if you'll remember on last week's show, we discussed the rumor that Microsoft refused to address one way or the other, that Phil Harrison, the Microsoft Game Studios Europe boss, was out. You know, we don't know how, whether whether voluntarily or involuntary, involuntarily. But yeah, it would seem like... These were Phil Harrison's studios, yeah. so I think <clears throat> Phil Harrison is definitely gone now. We were, uh, I think and this... I hope he's doing well. But it just this seems to confirm that news yeah. without them actually confirming. This happened, it. I think, the day we were flying to uh, Boston. And I was sitting next to Mitch at the airport. Yeah, and he immediately all he read was rumor Phil out at Microsoft. He's like, Phil Spencer's leaving Microsoft, <laughs> and I like opened up my phone. I'm like, you just keep reading. Mitch. Yeah, <laughs> reading. Read the whole headline, <laughs> Mitch. You're part of the problem. He starts. That's where he starts crying. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> he was so good on podcast unlocked. Oh, what are we gonna do? But uh, yeah, so. It seems like they've they've taken Phil Harrison's job and given half of it to Kudo and spread the rest around to some other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully, Phil Harrison's doing fine, and hopefully, his departure was voluntarily totally. voluntary. Boy, yeah. I'm having trouble with that word. <laughs> voluntarily <laughs> made. Boy, words. They don't. It's not like they pay me to say yeah. them here <laughs> or anything. Not, at all. not a big deal. Not at all. But uh, yeah, congrats to Kudo. His Kudos. responsibility. <clears throat> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. Boom. <laughs> refresh. <laughs> I earned myself a refresh. You sure did. But yeah, uh, congrats, Kudo. And we'll have to, I, I got to get Kudo on the show. Mm-hmm. He hasn't been down in San Francisco in a while. So, Kudo, if you're watching this or listening to this, next time you're in town, drop me a line. Come on the show. Let's catch up, do a we'll long get interview. Get you on this table. I want him to tell, because back on uh, my Xbox, my OXM podcast, he, he I had him on the show and he told a great story about. How they? You guys remember the the slow mo uh, mega punch camera from Fight Night Round yeah, Three, yeah. where it would just and come in and yeah, 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 yeah. deform really cool. the face. It's a funny story he tells about how they, what that sound is, and how they recorded that sound. Is it them like punching meat. It's an it's emu. worse. <laughs> they had an intern go get a dead pig from like a butcher. They oiled it up. And then they recorded, like, the – I don't know if it was still the intern or just the the Foley guys. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I can't remember if they had gloves on of any sort or not, but they were just punching the oiled-up pig carcass. <laughs> like Rocky. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> so that's the sound you hear that's amazing. in Fight Night Round 3 when it goes into the slow-mo close-up <laughs> thing. I've always it's... found Foley, for both movies and video games, the most interesting thing in the world because you can hear these sounds that are so clearly the sounds that they're supposed to you, – like, you identify as, yeah. you know – what it is in the game, and then how they record it is absolutely not at <laughs> totally, all. Totally, totally, totally. 